everyone loves a good carnival, and here in Spain there is no shortage of them. I'm sure, like me, you've stood on the roadside admiring the costumes and dance routines and everything else that goes into making this Spanish favourite. But have you ever wondered where the costumes come from, how much they cost, and how and where they are all put together? These were just some of the questions answered when Viva TV were invited to see behind the scenes and witness for ourselves the hours of work and practice the participants put in before the parade itself. Lauren Gibson is probably the only British expat who is a member of a Spanish carnival dance group. They not only perform on the Costa Blanca, but as a professional troupe, they are invited to take part in fiestas worldwide. Lauren was our guide as we met her and her colleagues, all members of Las Guapas, or Beautiful Girls, at the Virgin del Carmen Theatre, with just four days to go to one of the biggest parades in our area, the Torrevieja Carnival. Lauren, we're in uh, one of the many rooms here at Virgin del Carmen Theatre. Tell us what's going on. Well, um, we're practicing for the carnival on Sunday in Torrevieja. Oh, wow, and this is actually a business. I had no idea that this is a business for you. Yeah, yeah. very much so. It's big business. <laughs> yeah. And when you say big business, how big are we talking? Um, in terms of people, we probably have 25, 30 members that we rotate between the carnivals. Um, and we go to lots of different places in Spain and in France and Italy and all over the place. <laughs> and as far as field as Hong Kong? Yes, I haven't been to Hong Kong, but the group have. Yeah. So how does this work? You have a manager? Yes, um, we have a lady in Torrevieja called Conchi and she makes all the costumes and deals with all the contracts and things like that um, and we get our jobs from a guy in Italy um, so he's based there and he gets us all the jobs and tells us where to go and what to do. <laughs> what a fantastic job! How on earth did you land this gig? <laughs> um, long story, um, it's people you know, yeah. as, as with all things, um, my other half knows somebody and his wife is the um, dance captain and she said we're short on members do you want to join and I said yeah of course. <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. Um, tell me what, what's going on now I know you're practicing for the next carnival which is in Torrevieja yeah. and uh, presumably these are the sort of dance moves that you'll be practicing. Yeah there's um, I think there's a few different dances going on um, we're practicing for the Torrebiaca one and the two in France coming up. So I think we're about to start. <laughs> I do like your uh, glittery boots. Yes, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you get the costumes from? Um, they're made in Torrebiaca. The big feathers are made in Torrebiaca. Um, these shoes we got from Elchi. They were handmade um, to measure. It's all good stuff. And actually, we're going to come and see all the costumes being put together. Yeah, yeah, yeah that should be uh, interesting. Yeah. Well, listen, you've got to go off and practice. Uh, we'll catch up with you a bit later on. Thank you. Is there um, any significance to the dances or are they just choreographed as you go along? They're just choreographed as we go along um, because people are only there for a split second and you've passed them and obviously you can't do anything too intricate because you've got 25 kilo on your back. <laughs> oh, of course, yes. Yeah, and just describe the costumes that we'll be seeing you putting together on Saturday. Um, we have like a hat with um, feathers that come like that and then a big thing that comes out the top with more feathers and then we have like a backpack that goes on with um, a little teardrop shape My God. and then two side panels as well with feathers on and they are very heavy so, yeah so you have to be very fit <laughs> yes so this is not only great uh, great fun but it, it keeps you fit you know judging by yeah. uh, the other young ladies here it does keep yeah. you fit when when we go far away places um, you on your feet for about three or four hours at a time. So it's how how would feeling. someone get involved in something like this? Is it quite unusual for an expat to be involved? Um, yes. I think there was one other British girl before, before me and then nobody else. We have a, a few Russians, 
um, a few South Americans, but mainly Spanish. Yeah. So, uh, so it's good for my Spanish. Well, not only that, <laughs> but uh, you get to travel, you get to make some great friends. Yeah. And I bet you all have a great social life. Yeah, yeah. Sleeping on uh, the coach. Yeah, two to a bed is quite interesting in itself. <laughs> but it's just interesting, you know, I've been to many carnivals, many fiestas and see, you know, all the dancers. I had no idea so much work goes into it. Yeah, and I mean, it's difficult to um, rehearse sometimes as well, because obviously you can't rehearse on the street. So you have to keep everything quite small yeah. in, in the rehearsals and then obviously it expands out into the street. <laughs> And how long have you been rehearsing for this particular fiesta? This one, um, probably about four or five rehearsals. Not too many because yeah. it's not technically very difficult. It's just keep, go keep moving, you know. Yeah. Well, listen, it's been great seeing you and we'll see you on Saturday. I can't yes. wait to see your costume. <laughs> and then we'll see you on Sunday. So we'll see the whole sort of process through. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the practice. <laughs> Lauren, the, uh, the other day we were in the, um, the wonderful surroundings of the Virgin Del Carmen Theatre watching you practice your moves for the carnival, which is tomorrow. <laughs> yep. uh, slightly different surroundings today. Yep. What's happening? It's, um, this is where we're putting all the costumes together. It's freezing, it's dirty, <laughs> but that's normal for this kind of thing. And it's dark, um, so we're spreading everything out so we can um, assemble all the costumes individually. These costumes literally arrive flat pack. Yeah. And uh, yeah. you've got some of the, uh, the part of it in your hand. This is the back part. So if you were to turn round, it goes on the back like that. And there's um, a teardrop shape that goes onto that with a back rest. And then two side panels. And they all, careful, they all um, nut and bolt together. A lot of work has gone into this. Yeah. <laughs> and I can imagine they are worth quite a bit of money. Yeah, about a thousand euros each. Ish. <laughs> a thousand euros each. Yeah. And you've got how many? Uh, Fourteen. So don't rob them, anyone, please. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of money. Yeah. And these, I presume, are used more than once. Yeah, we use them um, quite regularly. I think in, in a lifespan of a costume, it's probably used 20 times, maybe more, depending on how much... So you've worn this one before? Yes, twice. And it looks quite heavy? It is quite heavy. <laughs> I don't know what 25 kilos is in stones, but it's heavy. <laughs> and you're only a little slight thing. <laughs> Strong though. <laughs> <laughs> so um, behind us, uh, all the girls, and this is all the truth, it's all hands to the pump. Yeah, yeah. It's not left to any one person. You're responsible for your own costume, but everyone helps each other to do the different parts to put it together. Yeah. So this is all sort of coming together now. Is this the exciting part for you? No, the exciting part's when you've got your costume on and your makeup on and you're ready to go. Really? Yeah. yeah. And this do you is feel, just what you've got to do. Do you feel completely <laughs> different when you've got that costume on? Yeah, you're not you. You're a different person. <laughs> well, you're a performer at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. How long will you be doing this for, do you I think? I don't know. However long my little shoulders will take it. <laughs> I don't know. And the girls, the other girls in the troupe, have many of them been with the troupe for a long time yeah yeah um christina who's the dance captain she's been in it about 10 years i think wow so it's, and it must take up <laughs> quite a bit of their lives yeah yeah it does <laughs> that is the dance That's captain christina, yeah. yes yes um and there are lots of feathers involved with these costumes yeah, aren't there thousands each of the feathers is about three euros each so please don't steal them off our costumes they're not to be pulled off no. that would be looked at <laughs> three euros each yeah per feather and they're all, you know, they go in different directions. Yeah, yeah, you have to put them, the small ones to go in a certain place and larger ones to go in another place. And whichever way the, uh, the feather goes, you have to put it in a certain place on the costume. It's very technical. It does sound <laughs> very technical. So once the costumes are all assembled, what happens then? Well, they'll stay here overnight um, and then we'll come and collect them just before the carnival starts tomorrow. And uh, we'll walk to where we're going to start. And then all the excitement starts. 
You'll be yeah. wearing those uh, costumes for how long? Maybe three hours, maybe slightly more. Depends, wow. because if we're at the back, which I think we are, there's other groups in front of us, and obviously it depends how fast they walk or how quickly they move as to how long we're wearing the costumes for. <laughs> but you're knackered by the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nice, though, being in Torrebiaca, because you can just go home yeah. when we're away. You have to dismantle all the costumes and get on the bus for, like, 20 hours, and it's quite nice to be here this, this week. Yeah, and today, you know, we are, we are all wrapped up, uh, got our big coats on. Yeah. Tomorrow... <laughs> Um, you'll be in a rather skimpy outfit. Yeah, it's going to be freezing. <laughs> how, how do you do that? You just have to get on with it. <laughs> there's no, uh, there's no cheats. There's no, no uh, tricks of the trade. No, no, there's no thermals. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I wish you luck. Uh, we'll okay. be with you tomorrow as well, as I say, to see the the whole process through, okay. and uh, we'll watch you put your costume together. Thank you. You better get on with it. Yeah, have you got instructions? No. <laughs> Well, I'll help. I'm, I'm fairly good at IKEA, okay. so I'll help you. You should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Lauren, come over here a second. Wow, what a transformation. Yeah. You must be frozen. I'm cold already. <laughs> How long has all this makeup taken to put on? Um, in total, about three hours. Three hours. <laughs> but that's not, not real. Well, you look absolutely fantastic. Um, when we left you yesterday, how long did it take you to put all the uh, costumes um, together? About four hours. You're joking. Yeah, no, because everything's got to be checked and double-checked as well. And what happens now? Um, all your colleagues are, are getting ready. We've got uh, still the rest of the costumes over there in the lock-up. So what happens now? Um, we're going to go and find all our costumes and put them on and get sewn in and... Attached. <laughs> and then we'll be on our way. Brilliant. Well, I'll, listen, I'll let you carry on and we'll catch up with you later. Thank you. Finally, Lauren, you're out. I don't know how we got you out of that lockup. <laughs> I don't know. How does it feel now to have the whole outfit on? Spectacular, but heavy. Now you're all going to sort of congregate and then it'll be sort of the start of the carnival. Yeah. And do yeah. you know where you, where you are about? Um, the front, the first. The uh, first. Are you leading? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Is that a real honour to be in the front? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Makes it extra special. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll watch you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I've got a few more uh, adjustments being made at the moment. I tell you what, when all the costumes came in in bits, they didn't look that impressive. No. But now, all put together, you can really see, you know, why so much work and how much they cost, you know, why they cost so much. Yeah, that's right. The details, when you're up close, are even, even better. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, they've, it's sort of all come together, a bit like an IKEA flat pack. You know, it arrives, very boring, but when it's put together, incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Just very quickly, you spent hours getting into costume, you put all the costumes together, you got the makeup, now you're at the head of the parade. How do you feel? <laughs> Bonkers. <laughs> Is it all worth it though? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Have a great time and we may see you in France next week. Okay, <laughs> see you there. So next time you're enjoying a carnival, just spare a thought for the hours of work and preparation that has gone into bringing you this spectacular event.